7 Action News at 10 on TV20 Detroit starts right now. A Detroit disc jockey who spent nearly 40 years on the radio stabbed to death. John O'Leary's body discovered at his home in Highland Park yesterday afternoon. His friends initially reported him missing. It's not clear when he was killed. Police have a suspect in custody who has not yet been charged. That's why we are not naming them. O'Leary's most recent radio gig was at WCSX. He was 68 years old. Considering the details that have been coming out, I, that he would be the last person you think would be a victim of something like this. Detroit Radio mourning the loss of a longtime rock and roll DJ. What we've learned about his shocking murder and how John O'Leary will be remembered. Working for you. Fox 2 News at 10 starts now. Tonight, a longtime Detroit disc jockey is dead. Police finding the body of John O'Leary in the backyard of his Highland Park home over the weekend. He had been murdered, a suspect already under arrest. Tonight, those who knew John are remembering him as a kind and talented man. Fox News' Taryn Asher here now with more. And really, the last man you would expect this to happen to, Monica. A police source told me someone kept calling police, saying John O'Leary was dead in his backyard. They searched, but did not locate his body until Sunday, buried under debris. Just such a shocker. And, you know, he was the sweetest guy. I mean, like... On his own level, sweet. He's been a fixture on Detroit radio since the 70s. John O'Leary started as one of the original WABX Air Aces, working at multiple radio stations, playing rock and roll and connecting with listeners. But on Sunday, the news no one was expecting. Police say the 67-year-old was found stabbed to death multiple times in the backyard of his Highland Park house. Oh, it's God. just scary because it's right across the street, you know, and it's right here in the area. And when you know somebody happens to somebody that you know, it's just, enough is enough. We're told Highland Park police started receiving calls early last week that John O'Leary was dead in the backyard of his house. Officers went to that house on Chandler Street and checked the backyard, but didn't find anything. It wasn't until police returned on Sunday to do a welfare check, and they discovered O'Leary's body buried under backyard debris. Investigators say evidence found nearby led them to the suspect, who actually lived at the house. Neighbor Mrs. Upshaw watched as police brought him into custody. Had big old long guns, you know, trying to call the people out of 155, and they didn't come out. And then when they finally went in there and got him, they got a little guy out of there, took him out. Police say a possible motive and the suspect's identity will be revealed when he's criminally charged on Tuesday. In the meantime, longtime listeners and those who worked with O'Leary have been posting heartfelt messages on social media. Detroit Morning Radio legend Jim Harper remembers the days when they were in the same building. He was at Magic 105.1. O'Leary was at WCSX. It didn't matter what radio format you were in, what kind of uh, show you were doing. He was always happy for everybody else's success. Harper continuing those thoughts in a touching Facebook post, calling O'Leary a tremendous talent, one of the nicest guys he'd ever met, and how he will try to live the rest of his life as kind as he was. If you ask around, uh, everybody from the listeners that he dealt with over the last four years to all the people he worked with, you just can't find anyone to say a bad thing about him. That's, he was a special guy. And that's very rare. Well, again, the suspect, we're told, is locked up and is expected to be charged with O'Leary's murder tomorrow. Monica. It's so shocking and so very sad that his life ended this way. And our thoughts go out to his family and friends and his many listeners. I guess we'll learn more tomorrow. Yes, and there's going to be a memorial, we're told, planned and funeral. As soon as those details become available, we will certainly pass those on. Downtown All right, thanks, Detroit. Steve. Home of WDIV and click on Detroit. Local 4 News at 11 starts now. And he's been a voice on Detroit radio for decades. Tonight, the radio community is in shock after longtime DJ John O'Leary is found murdered in his home. Topping our report tonight at 11, his body was found in his Highland Park home over the weekend. O'Leary spent nearly 40 years on the air in Detroit, starting at W4 and winding his way through most of Detroit's big-time radio stations in an era when they produced some of the biggest names in the industry. Mar McDonald is live with what we know about the case so far. Mara, good evening. 
Kimberly, good evening. And what we know so far is that O'Leary was found yesterday by Highland Park police, and they do have a suspect in custody. Let me show you. She doesn't know this is going to happen, but uh, if she's hearing this, she will. You mean you're going to call Gail? Yeah, and uh, I think we'll, I'll just ask her and see what she has to say about it. John O'Leary's voice was a mainstay in Detroit radio for four decades. He was good enough to go from station to station to CSX to W4. He was he built a reputation in this market as just a great lover of Detroit music and a great Detroit personality. O'Leary, one of the original air aces at the legendary WABX. John's next on the WABX Detroit. Here's ZZ Top. Who was heard not just there. He had gigs at W4, CIMX, the original LLZ, and later at CSX. He was just um, a guy that loved the music passionately. He was uh, on the ground floor of what they used to call underground radio. Uh, progressive rock radio. John's long tenure meant he knew everybody. He liked rock and roll, and he was good at it, and he knew it. Which is why Detroit's radio community is reeling from the news of his death. When I got the news that he had been so savagely killed, I felt so bad. At first, it was simply shock the 68-year-old had passed away, and then the details emerged. O'Leary was murdered at his Highland Park home, stabbed to death over the weekend. Police have a suspect in custody. It is an unfathomable end for a man who was known for his kind heart. And he was very low-key. He didn't get in the way. He was not what they call him the business, and believe me, I know lots of people that are high maintenance. He was not high maintenance, and that's what made him so popular. Back here live, so what could have possibly motivated a crime like this? Well, we expect more details out of Highland Park PD and the prosecutor's office when this suspect hits their arraignment, likely tomorrow or Wednesday. Kimberly, Devin. Back to you. Action News at 11 starts right now. A longtime radio DJ here in Detroit stabbed to death. Police finding the body of 68 year old John O'Leary inside his Highland Park home yesterday. Friends had reported him missing. The former disc jockey spent nearly 40 years on several rock radio stations, including W4 and WCXS. Police say suspect is in custody. No word yet on any potential motive.